Let's do a swipe left, swipe right analysis on Intel. All right, we have classic gap movement post earnings. Now, my advice always post earnings. I'm a believer in technical analysis, but I do not trade around earnings. My personal style, other people do, that's fine. But what I do post earnings or post any gap, larger gaps, larger gaps can occur on events outside of earnings, a uh, scandal news announcement, uh, investor analyst rating, a lot of different aspects. But when we have these gap situations, I always like to establish the initial range and I am very patient for a few days. Remember, I have hundreds and thousands of different trading instruments I can trade. I don't have to trade any one on that given day. So I will usually wait for gaps, news events to die out in the couple days afterwards. That initial range established on gap day, it is always a sign of strength when you break out of that initial range. So here, five days ago, five trading days ago, we broke out of that, that initial range, broke out of the short-term resistance created by the gap, got confirmation the next day, and then in the last couple of days, two of my favorite reversal signals catching the short-term five and nine, those short-term moving averages, that started to occur. This is a classic example of waiting a few days, seeing a signal develop, breaking that horizontal resistance formed by the gap, and then first time it came up to the nine, got slapped down as first test often do, and continued to produce bullish signal, bullish signal, bullish signal. I'm swiping white right on general bullish trade setups on Intel right now. Swiping right on general bullish trade setups. Now I'm swiping left on longer term bullish trading on Intel, like I do any gap down. So short term bullish plays, four to six weeks out, short term directional plays, Certainly credit spreads on, bull, on, on pullbacks and stabilization. What happens oftentimes, and I call it the McDonald effect, my favorite gap down situation of this year, same principle applying, breaking through that inner day resistance, coming up, catching those shorter term moving averages. But what you have happen oftentimes follow the, following these gaps downs and these quick reversals is you have a lot of sideways movement. Now it can generally meander up in that sideways movement, but very rarely do you see a stock just take off, just take off following a gap down. So could you, you see general meandering up? Could you see it getting back into 51, 52, 53, trading in a sideways fashion, that's probably based on the chart analysis, our most likely income uh, outcome. So certainly some swipe right opportunities on certain types of plays, but you just have proper expectations. This chart pattern, gap down, quick reversal in the next few weeks, probably see some slow upward meandering movement before you start to trade sideways. So swiping right on trade stat strategies that can take, a, uh, take advantage of that, but not too shabby, not too shabby on strength. <laughs>